much time to talk. I gotta pick up and get out of here. But I had to break ice. I didn't get too much movement on the, on the decoy today, obviously. And that's what I wanted to point out is when the conditions are froze, your, your rung neck's gonna pretty much be a statuesque decoy. But even though able to bring in nice Canada and drop him today over these conditions. But if I had time, this, uh, this ice would meld up really good and make a good hole here. And I bet you I'd do really good, especially if a little bit of wind started to move those decoys for me. So anyway, that's today's clip. Have a good one, you guys. Thank you. Okay. Hey, so I was right about this place. It, uh, it opened up and it, uh, it turned on real good. So I had some real good shooting, but then the problem is once this pond opened up, it slowed way down. But uh, in part of this video, we're going to show you how to repair a decoy that gets shot up. And we're going to use uh, melted milk bottles to do it. So um, stay tuned. We'll uh, take this decoy and see how it sucked up the shot. And then we'll repair those holes on it. So I don't, I don't care if... Um, you got a decoy and bird coming in and it's in line with one of my decoys, shoot it, man. Um, don't blow up my decoy with both barrels walking out there, but I, I don't want a decoy and bird taking off. So if you have one coming in on me and one of my decoys is in line with it, just go ahead and shoot away, man. All right, stay tuned for the footage. Robert Bodden here. Uh, welcome to the decoy repair on a rung neck decoy. Um, what we're going to do is show you how to repair a shot up decoy with uh, melted milk bottles. So we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, a lot of a lot of the hunters have asked me, "Hey Robert, can you just show me how you start the rigging on the head on the rung neck decoy to make it ballast and float?" The way it does in the water so I'll go ahead and do that um, this is a about a 24 inch length of quarter inch uh, lead weight uh, bullet weight and so I'll go ahead and show you how that goes so um, what you do is you take your head and there's your uh, patent pending uh, run neck keel and so you're just going to thread your weight through the end and just being very careful uh, because you got this long terminal end you don't want that flipping around on you and uh, don't do this around the kids or family and try to be safe but see how far I went I uh, extended that just a few inches on the front I'm going to go ahead and bend that down and that'll lock that part into place and then on the back I'm, I'm going to try to shoot for kind of an oval uh, shape, I think, to my bend. And I'll just keep bending this weight around. And then uh, the terminal end, I'll try to tuck into my, my shape that I've got. And when I end up done, that's what you look like right there. And so. This provides all the adjustment and everything that you need just on this simple design. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how it floats. Okay, that's not bad. Um, if I needed to uh, adjust that, it might be it might be listing this way a little bit. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can, but it kind of looks like it is. So what you do is you just bend that weight how much you need, and then that'll correct the listing so your head will be right the way you want it to be okay 
So that's um, how you how you do that. Um, if you can look, that's got a little bit of a forward float to it. And I like that. It's kind of a relaxed look and it kind of goes into a semi preening on the body when it's floating. But if you want it more alert, just bend that way back and your head will start to ride more upright. So we'll do that. See how I've adjusted that? That's all you need to do to ballast your rung neck heads. Beautiful, simple design. Uh, don't have to worry in manufacturing about hitting it 100% perfect every time. If, it, if, it's follow, if the process follows this process, that means you've got a decoy that you guys can tweak in the field however you want it. So that's the beauty of it. Okay, That's your rung neck head. All right, so now let's get into the decoy repair. So what I've been trying to do with this concept, if you guys haven't noticed from start of the whole concept, the idea in my head up to this point, I've been trying to show you the good, bad, and the ugly of everything on this concept so that we kind of together can figure out if, if this thing has merit or not, okay? So the topic we have now, you can look and see, I've got a rung neck that I beat up pretty good out in the field. Um, I've shot birds over this thing. I've killed uh, quite a few and you can see them on the footage. And so what we wanted to talk about on this segment is what happens when a rung neck decoy gets shot up. Um, here, here's some detail for you. Okay, so I'll take that head out and I'll bring this up a little closer if you can see that. That right there is a shot that did penetrate through the body. But what I like about the material is it sucked up that shot pretty good. And then there's no cracks. There's no cracks in that body. And then right here there's a ding and there's a ding. So for me this type of stuff, here's another one right there. This is beautiful for me. I, I like to see kind of the decoys worked and shot over and shot up a little bit, you know, it gives them character. But th this one is a little bit too close to the water line. So I want to go ahead and repair that. And then on the head, uh, the head took one right there. I think you can see that. But uh, I think I'm good and there's no water going to go in there. It didn't penetrate all the way. And then there's another shot right there. Good direct hit and no crack. Uh, pellet bounced off of that. Okay, so I hope you can see that. So I'm just going to leave that head there because I like that. That'll, that'll give that some good character and I'll have fun every time I pick up and see that pellet hole in that bill. It'll just make me smile. So I'm going to keep it on there. All right. So let's get into the uh, repair. All right. Here we go. All we're going to do is take this piece of melted, uh, well, a piece of uh, melt bottle. And we're going to melt it. And we're going to have the melted plastic just drip right down into that damage, that hole that I showed you. So let's see how this goes, okay? So, turn this on. I'm just going to let that drip down in there. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we, we've melted that plastic from that milk bottle into our damage and there it is. So I'm gonna bring that up close to where you can see it now. So I dripped kind of, if you can see that, kind of around here, but I tried to focus where that would drop into that hole and it did. And that's 
dried hard. So now all we're going to do is we'll, we'll sand that portion up there and then this, uh, this decoy will be ready to, to paint again. Thank you. That's, uh, that's coming along good. I think that's going to seal that up fine. So I'll just do a little bit more sanding on that. We should be good. Alright, so that completes our segment on fixing a rung neck decoy with uh, melted milk bottles. And so we're all ready to go to uh, get this thing painted up. And it'll take us about 30 minutes of labor and we'll have it back to this form right here. It'll look just like this decoy. So thank you for watching. Um, stay tuned on the next uh, video. We'll show you how to paint and ha how to refurbish your rung neck decoy. And uh, probably be on a future video where we're talking about the Brandt model. We're going to take uh, a, a rig of Brandt rung neck decoys down to Mexico and we're going to shoot over the open seas and, and we know these heads are really going to rock down there. So stay tuned and thank you for watching. Appreciate you. But you can, I don't know if you can hear that or not. I got that little souvenir of that BB inside that decoy. So that's, uh, I'm going to just leave it inside there.